right? So my name is San Kim. I'm uh, from Korea, now residing in Baguio. Uh, staying here in the Philippines uh, for uh, going eight years now, okay? And today I'd like to talk about my eight steps to success. Is there anyone here like who heard about eight steps to success? Okay, any first timer today? First timer? Okay, so for you, I'll discuss this one by one. So uh, you know what's eight steps to success here in Atomy. So, but before that, I'll talk about myself a little bit. Uh, yeah, so this is where I grew up. Uh, I was born in Korea. I'm 35 years old, very young, right? Okay, but I was uh, grew up in Saipan. Do you know where Saipan is? Have you heard about Saipan? You know Guam, Hawaii, okay. Hawaii, Guam, Saipan are uh, US islands, okay. It's a small island. And then uh, I was born in Korea. I went to elementary and junior high in Korea, but all the family was immigrant to Saipan. So uh, Saipan is located here. The one who didn't stay in Saipan cannot really find Saipan from the map because it's really small island, okay. So if you see Korea there, right? North Korea, South Korea, and Japan, and we are Taiwan of the uh, Philippines, right? And we are Philippines, that small red dot over there, okay, that's Saipan, okay? Uh, Saipan, and that's a small island, so everyone knows, okay? I know everyone who stays there, and everyone knows me, okay? So that's where I grew up. I stayed in Saipan for 15 years. I went to high school and college, okay, uh, in Saipan. And you see my picture there, okay, wearing black. It's just like yesterday, right? Okay, I look the same. Okay, but that was like 15 years ago. Yeah, 15 years ago, okay? So I look the same, I never get old. Okay, yeah. So that's Saipan, and uh, I hope you uh, can visit Saipan one time, okay? And my work before, I was working in uh, like supermarkets, okay? You know, the packers, okay? The one who's pack things, okay, when you buy from the stores. Okay, because my family, my parents had to go back to Korea after one year stay of Philipp uh, uh, in Saipan, and I decided to stay alone. So I had to work for my own tuition, okay? So I had to work in the supermarkets, I had to work on translating jobs, construction companies, and I used to deliver newspapers, okay? So that was like all kind of jobs that I had, okay, as a part-time, but I got this uh, work here, like there was a hotel in Saipan, Okay, but if you are traveling to Saipan, do you want to stay in the hotel, Ocean View or Mountain View? Ocean View, if you're visiting Saipan, of course, right? Okay, it's an island, okay? But when you're visiting Baguio, you'll be expecting Mountain View, okay? But, uh, but this hotel was built upon the mountain and there's no tourist who likes to come and check in in the hotel because it's a mountain view, right? So this hotel has uh, like around like 300 rooms, swimming pool and everything, but nobody likes to check in. So this hotel was going bankrupt already. And there was this uh, like the person, okay, who managed the hotel decided to call for students from Korea, okay? So these Korean students will be coming to Saipan during their vacation so they can join this English camp for four to eight weeks. So they'll learn English and they can go back to Korea or they go to school in mainland of United States. Okay, so I work as a coordinator of an English camp. So th those are my students, okay? So they visit me, okay, they call me teacher and they still send me message on teacher's day. Do you have teacher's day here in the Philippines? Yeah. Okay, they also message me, teacher send, teacher send, okay? So I was teaching them English, but I was not the one who's giving lectures or like any classes. I was the one who hired teachers, who hire or like who book uh, their activities during weekends. So that was my work before. And I was in that field uh, for over like eight years, okay? So I was working in that industry for eight years. But I had to, yeah, next slide, yeah, okay. But I had to come back to Korea uh, I was planning to like stay there in Saipan because I really love to stay there and I cannot really go back to the same culture that I used to stay in, okay? But, you know, all Korean guys need to join uh, for military service, 
Okay, did you know? You see all Korean guys here? We finish our serving in military. Okay, but you have an option. Okay, you can choose. You can spend two years in the military or two years in jail. What would you choose? Yeah, me too. I chose military. I didn't want to stay in jail. But life in military is just like a staying in jail. And they are not allowing us to using the smartphone that time. So this is the picture I took on my last day of my service. Okay, they only allow me to take one picture in my whole two years, only on the last day. Okay, for my remembrance, they allow me to take picture. Uh, I was assigned to this uh, military, and I used to be a dump truck driver. Okay, there was a five-ton dump truck, as you can see in the picture, and I was a driver. Okay, so I was driving all around Korea, and I, uh, yeah, so that's when I came back to Korea. So after that, I was planning to go back to my old work, okay? But I heard there's the school has closed already, okay? And I was invited to the Philippines. And so that's how I joined here in, uh, in the Philippines as an ITME member, okay? But today, what I will talk about, since we have some new members, I'll talk about eight steps to success, okay? So we have these eight steps to success here in ITME. If you follow these eight steps, then you can achieve your success that you are dreaming for. Okay, so can you read with me? Okay, number one. Okay, number two. Okay, number three. Number four. Number five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, so if you see this, dream and goal setting, okay, and number two, determination and commitment can be called as a preparation, okay? Because you have to set your dream. Mom and Dimas was talking about our compensation plan, okay? And you have to dream for your success and earning that million and make it as yours, okay? If you don't have that dream, it'll be difficult for you to achieve that, okay? If you don't believe that you, you can attain that, how would you, right, okay, claim that? And number three until number six, Name list, invitation, show the plan, and follow up can be an action or practice. Can you show on the screen? Okay, so number three, name list, I'll uh, like explain it in details. Name list, so number one and two, now you have your goal, okay, and now you're determined that you will work for this business and you have that preparation. The next thing, the first thing that you have to do, you have to list down the names of your prospects, okay? Do you have your prospects here? Did your prospect came uh, and answer to your invitation? Maybe you have invited a lot, but not many came, right? Okay, so first, you have to list down all the names of your prospects, okay? You don't have to filter them, okay? Write down everyone you know, okay? Uh, there are some members like this. They're saying, I don't have a member. I don't have any prospects, okay? But when I see their friends list in Facebook, they have thousands of Facebook friends, right? Okay, when, they, when I check their smartphone, they have hundreds of contacts saved in their smartphone, so you don't have to filter them, you can list them down all, okay? And number four is invitation. So now you have to contact them one by one or visit them in person one by one to visit, uh, like invite them, okay? Where will you invite them? It will be difficult for you to dis like study about the company, product, like Mom Julian Bale was discussing. It will be difficult for us to discuss them all, right? Okay, so it will be invited to the seminars of the company or to the sp uh, of the sponsors, okay? So at, as it was discussed earlier in company introduction video, Atomy company holds the company uh, a seminar, okay? So you don't have to open your own seminars, okay? But company will be supporting us opening this kind of seminar, and our job is to invite our prospects to join the system, okay? So number four is uh, invitation, and number five, show the plan. So here, this is what I misunderstood. Like I was talking about products, okay? Most of the times I was talking about products, and when I discuss product, I only end up having consumers, okay? The more consumers I have, I have some commissions, right, that I'm receiving from their purchases, but the thing is, I'm busy delivering the products, okay? I'm busy assisting each consumers. I'm busy answering their each questions. Okay, so like what's the dosage of this? Is it safe to take this? And how to use this? I've been answering this and I didn't have time to grow my business partners, but I was only like focusing on 
like products and I was only like uh, like assisting consumers. So when you do number five, show the plan. I want you to offer business. Okay, don't just talk about product and you will end up having many consumers and you are the only business partner. All other members in your group are consumers and you'll be ending up assisting them. Be their assistant. Okay, and number six, follow up. Follow up is really important here because let's say you list down okay, the names of your prospects and you invited them and they join one, of one or two seminars. Okay, and they listen to your meetings, STPs, show the plan and they try the product. But if you forget to follow up, okay, then what will happen is this. They come and they go. And you invite another one and they go. Okay? You'll be like just practi practicing this, right? So it means there's no growth. Okay, you'll be in the same position again and again. Ups and downs, okay? So we it's really important to do the follow-up, number six, okay. So let them stay. Let the consumers stay, let the business uh, partners do their business with you. That's follow-up. Okay, now you have these members. Okay, so number three to six is action and practice. But you're expecting your partners to come to the office every day. You yourself, you don't know how to discuss any products, but you're expecting your partners to discuss all the products. So it'll be difficult for you to expect that, right? So here, duplication is important, but before that, I want you to be the whole person, good sponsor, okay? So that your partners can duplicate the good role models. Okay, so this is the eight steps to success. But for me, I missed out. Okay, what I missed out is number one and two. I missed it out. I honestly really had no dream building, okay? No goal settings. I was just invited to come here, okay? And I didn't really have any determination or commitment, okay? I just joined bus this business and I was just telling and, and I was just doing whatever they're telling me to do, whatever they're expecting me to do, and that was my big mistake. If you see here, maybe some of the old members of Atomy remember me as an interpreter, right? Okay, so if you see the first picture on the left side, that's Imperial Master Song Il Kim, okay? So he's our sponsor, so I also interpreted when he visited here in the Philippines, and you see, uh, you know the second picture? Can you recognize him? What's his name? Okay, he's our uh, chief global advisor, Mr. Danny Kim. Okay, so that time I was in Jeju Island. Okay, uh, Jeju Island is a promotional tour for Sharon Nose Master, but I was not Sharon Nose Master then. But I was invited by Sir <laughs> Eric Kim. He asked me to come and join and interpret for <laughs> our guest speakers. So I became the interpreter of uh, Sir Danny Kim. Okay. And that was in Jeju Island. And the last picture, can you recognize him? <laughs> Who is he? Okay, our chairman, okay, Hangil Park. When he visited here in the Philippines, okay, I was asked to do the interpretation. Okay, so I didn't have my own goal, okay, but I was just thinking doing the interpreter, okay, uh, job is okay, good enough for me. Anyways, I'm learning a lot, okay. And whenever I stand on the stage, I get many calls and text messages. They want to join in my group because I'm standing beside CEO, right? Okay, so they message me. Okay, oh, sir, Sen, I want to join you in your group, and I went to see them, but I failed to do the follow up, right? So I miss them a lot. So number one and two, dream and goal setting and determination and commitment. This is the part that I admit that I missed from the beginning. And number three and four. Today I'm showing you many pictures. Uh, when I came here in the Philippines 2017, after I completed my military service, I didn't know anyone, of course, right? Okay, I didn't know anyone, but I was invited to come to Baguio, but they asked me to go to Dagupan, Pangasinan. You've been there, Dagupan? Okay, I went to Dagupan, and I had to bring this piece of, one piece of BB cream. I went to the fish market, and I was applying the BB cream on their hands, okay, to the fish dealers. Okay, and they're shy and they're rejecting me. Okay, and this time it's rainy season, right? Okay, that time I cannot go around on the street. So I went inside the malls, Nepal Mall, SM Mall, okay? And I went inside and I went around the stalls to do the recruiting job. But they already recognized me, okay? They know me already. And the next day I try to enter the building, the guard stopped me. Sir, no selling here, 
no going around, going around here. Okay, go out. Okay, and then I enter to the other, other entrance, and then they say, oi, oi, you go out. Okay, so during rainy season, I have no other places to go. They know me, I'm Korean, right? Okay, so they know this Korean is going around and selling Atomi products. Okay, but they don't allow me to enter the building of the malls. Okay, so it was really difficult for me to uh, build a network or a group of consumers. And if you see the picture, the tricycle picture, I was invited to a resort. Okay, one member came to me and he told me, Sir Sen, I know the owner of this one resort. Okay, I'll introduce to you. Oh, really? Thank you, thank you. It's a big time. Okay, big time, big time. I like big time. Okay, so I went to the uh, that's San Fabian, Pangasinan, okay? So I went there, okay? Uh, and I have a meeting, so I'm in a, like, proper attire, right? Okay, to see the owner of the resort, okay? And I went there, and the resort, they said, uh, like people in town, they said the resort is not being operated more than six months, <laughs> okay? So I was invited to see the owner of the resort, and the people in that barangay are telling me the resort is closed more than six months. Okay, well, why am I invited there, right? Okay, and what made it worse, that tricycle was stuck in the sand. And then the driver told me, sir, you get down and push the tricycle. I <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I went there, boxes of product. Okay, I was so excited. Okay, I brought this expensive product like Medicook said, Absolute Skincare and all. Okay, I was so excited. I come back with empty box. Okay, I was so excited. But when I went there, the resort was there, but it's not operated for six months, and the tricycle got stuck in the sand, and I was <laughs> pushing the tricycle. So those are my experiences. Because I didn't have my own name list, I had to depend on the members. I have to ask them, Mom, do you know anyone? Can you tell me and introduce me to someone? So I go and see them, okay? And many, many times this kind of thing happened. But that day, I was lucky because there was this coastal guard who came to help us, okay, to get out the tricycle from the uh, stuck in the sands, and it was good because it was their payday, okay. So I was able to sell some products to these coastal guards, and I came back with empty boxes, <laughs> okay. And here, if you see the four pictures on the left side, okay, they are my partners in Tabu Kalinga, okay. So my prospects again, I don't have my own name list here. Okay, it's my first time staying in the Philippines and I don't have my family relatives here. Or I know, okay, all the people I know are my partners and sponsors in Atomy, right? So I have to ask, okay, our center head of Kalinga Cup Center, Mom Rufina, do you know anyone? And she was inviting me to this group of police, okay? We went to their barracks, okay, and we had our presentation there with our diamond master, Mom Christian. And there was a, like, birthday party of a baby girl, <laughs> we were invited there, but my purpose going there, okay, is not just to celebrate the party, but after the party, we're given 30 minutes to discuss about our products, right? So we bring our products, and we distribute, and we display the products. And the third picture, you can see Sir James in the picture, that's his car. We put everything in his car, okay? I'm so happy he's driving a pickup, so we can put many boxes there. So we were going around in different schools, okay? So that's uh, what I did. I don't have my name list, so I have to depend on my partners, and their prospects are my prospects, okay? Wherever they go, I'll go with them, okay? And after I go out to see this kind of presentations or my prospects, and I will invite them to this kind of seminars, okay? Number five, number six, show the plan and follow up, okay? Uh, the first picture is in Baguio Cup Center, and the second picture is our Go Meet 100 campaign in Kalinga Cup Center, okay? And the one down is uh, our one-day seminar in Tabuk Kalinga, okay? We're having that once a month, but just for this month of June, okay, since we had a, uh, like, request uh, by HQ that we'll be opening our one-day seminar here in Tugigaro, so we're having it here. But uh, in the other months, we're having once a month seminar in Tabuk Kalinga. So you may join us also in Tabuk next month, okay? So uh, this is what we do. Show the plan. As I said, this time I'm not only discussing about products. Because if I talk about products, the only chance you can have is being my consumer. Because I'm only talking about product. 
But this time, whenever I'm having our my shoulder plan or meetings, I talk about business, okay? Because you can discuss product better than me, okay? You can speak your own dialect, and you can talk. You have good testimonies. Actually, I'm taking this hemo him, but I personally have no big effect on me because I'm still young, right? I don't have any sickness. What about skincare products? Even if I apply good cosmetics, I didn't have any pimples. I don't have any wrinkles, right? So there's no dramatic effect on me, okay? But you have dramatic effect. You have more wrinkles, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so you have better effect on you, and you have some health concerns, right? Okay? So after taking our good supplements, you have better testimonies to share. So I let my members, let my partners discuss their own testimonies, and I do the business part. Okay, just like Mom Ann discussed the compensation plan. So uh, the first picture, it was during our challenge. Okay, uh, they spent a week, right, of the challenge, and they were not able to really finish, and they need some remedy. So they really had to trouble to bargain <laughs> to find some solution with us, right, Mom Ann, Ann? You remember the time, right? And Go Meet 100 campaign, it's really hot here in Tugigarao, right? Okay, I was perspiring, and I don't wear like this every day. But wearing like this, I can't imagine wearing like this every day. Okay, so I like Atomi. Okay, Atomi t-shirt is okay on me, right? Okay, so Go Meet 100 is still needed because I told you about the name list and invitation. You can have a two, okay, different kinds of prospects. One can be your warm contacts. Warm contacts, I'm talking about your acquaintance, okay? Your friends, your relatives, your neighbors, people who you know are your warm contacts. But you're inviting them to come, you're following them up, but they're not interested. They're not showing their interest or they're not ready in time. In that kind of case, you will not wait for them, but you have to go for call contact, okay? We have call contacts, the people we don't know, okay? And I heard Mom Julian Bale and team went around for Go Meet 100 here. I cannot believe that she traveled with Tok Tok, okay? You know Ong Bak? You know that, that tricycle, new version of tricycle, okay? They started from Manila with that 20 hours. Ca they came here yesterday, they arrived, and they went around Hotel Roma, okay? They went around for Go Mid 100, right? But are they, some of them are here? No, not really. <laughs> so one time, go mid 100, okay, is tiring, but compared to the tiredness that you have, it doesn't really have a good result, right, okay? So we have to do this go mid 100, okay, regularly. Not only one time event, but you have to set the day in a week and go out for 100, like every week, once a week, right? That will accumulate. If you meet 1,000 people, I'm very sure more than 10, 20, 30 people will be coming for you and they're interested. So... That's our yeah, picture of our Tabuk One Day Seminar. Okay, I'm sad because in Tabuk Kalinga, like sometimes we have bigger number, okay? Uh, but like since we're having it here in Tugigarao, okay, not many were invited, okay, to these seminars. <coughs> number seven is consultation, okay? As I told you, I also have my sponsors, okay? I have my sponsor, Royal Master, Sharonos Master, Star Master sponsors, and whenever I'm facing some issues, I also consult to them. Ma'am, sir, I have this kind of issues. I, kind of, I have this kind of concerns, okay? How shall I like, handle this? Okay, I ask them for advice. I also get my consultation from my sponsors, okay? And whatever I learn from the advice of my sponsors, I do the same with my partners, okay? But honestly, uh, like compared to maybe other Koreans, I was grew up in Saipan, so this culture here in the Philippines is kind of like familiar to me, okay? So I get this kind of comments that I go well with different people, okay? But the thing is, I became too close with my uh, partners, okay? So I talk about their personal issues, not related to atomy. I talk about their some, yeah, some issues, private issues, not related to business, and that somewhat gave me this closeness with the partners, but it gave me some challenge for me to like put them away from those issues, right? Okay, so what I need to talk about is only the business related issue, right? Okay, so number seven, consultation is important, but please don't uh, make the same mistake that I had, okay? You don't have to talk about your personal family issues, 
right? Okay, to your partners or to your sponsors. Okay, let's talk about business we're gathered here for this business purpose. So I get this consultation from my sponsors, and I also do my own consultations to my members. Okay, and I'm wishing my partners are satisfied with my way of concert, uh, giving consultation. Okay, and if you see the first picture, uh, she's a Royal Master sponsor, Mom Claire. Could, it, could you please show the picture? Okay, so the person sitting beside me, the lady in pink, is a Royal Master Mom Claire visiting Kalinga Cup Center, and she's giving consultation, okay, to the couple of uh, center head, okay, uh, Sir James and Mam Rufina, okay, and I'm translating there, but number eight duplication is, okay, if you see the picture down, Mom Christian is the one now conducting her own meetings without me. Okay, I was there taking picture, right? Okay, but she's the one conducting her own meeting and there are times that I want to be involved and I want to give some advice, okay? But I stop myself not to do it because she herself has to grow as her, as her own leader, right? Okay, so I leave her, okay? And I realize that she has more strengths, okay? And uh, there are more skills, okay? That she can discuss way better than me. And if you see the third picture, okay, the one on top, it's Sir James, okay? I was surprised. I knew that he's a passionate person, but I didn't know that he was a good lecturer, okay? He's really good in convincing, okay? I like uh, how he delivers his message, okay? There was one time that I had this meeting with uh, my group, okay? And after that meeting, he said, okay, sir, wait, I have to call these prospects. And then the first words he said, she said, she called and then, Grabika madam! Okay, he was so excited to tell this news, okay? So that excitement that he has, he delivers that. So that's the duplication. I myself is giving my own lecture, giving my own meetings to my partners, but if I'm doing it alone, there's a limit, right, of number. But I have to duplicate myself to my partners so they will do their own meetings and own convincing and own plannings, okay? And you see the lady in red is Mam Rufina Buyagan, our center head, okay, is also making her own discussion. And uh, since I'm staying in Baguio, whenever I communicate with my members in Kalinga, we often have our Zoom meeting, okay? So that's the meeting that we had. Next slide, please. So uh, this is my journey after joining Atomy. I I don't quite remember the year when I joined, but I'm sure it's been more than 10 years that I joined Atomy. So I became a member of Atomy 2013, okay? That was 10 years ago, right? Okay? And I was a consumer. I was user of uh, probiotics, toothpaste, and I was using Atomy product in the military. And 2017, I was invited to the Philippines, and I became a uh, business partner and I achieved my sales master and diamond master position. Okay, but uh, like early 2019, I got a call from my mom that my father uh, is in the hospital and he cannot live long. Okay, I got this call from my mom and she wants me to come back to Korea as soon as possible. So uh, from Pangasinan, I had to come back to Baguio. I packed my things and next day I had to travel to Korea but I didn't expect I'll be staying in Korea that long. I had to stay in Korea for 10 months, okay? He found his cancer and he was on last stage and December 2019, uh, we had his funeral, he passed away, okay? So for one year, almost one year, I had to stay in Korea and for that one year, all my consumers and business partners were gone, okay? They were not with me anymore and I'm not earning anymore, right? So I was really seriously thinking, should I come back to the Philippines and continue this Atomy business or stop now and stay in Korea? Anyways, I'm the eldest son in the family, so my mom needs me, right? Okay, because father's not around. And I have my younger brother, so I was thinking, being the eldest son, I feel somewhat feel the responsibility that I have to stay home in Korea, okay? But I remember that I have all my things, okay, back in the Philippines. So I still need to come back to the Philippines to pack my things. So that's when I came back to the Philippines, uh, January 2020. But what happened? COVID pandemic. There was no flight going home, okay? So I packed everything. I was ready to leave, go back to Korea, but there was no flight going home, okay? So I really had to, <laughs> uh, like, 
yeah, be patient in time, tolerate the lockdown, right? Okay, the lockdown here in the Philippines was really grave, no? <laughs> okay, so I really stayed at home, and then like first how many months we're not able to go out, okay? And after how many months, I have to go to the barangay halls, get this, like the tickets, right, the market, so I can only go out uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, just go to the market and come back, right? So it was that 2020 to 2022, the pandemic really was longer for me, okay? And I really was not able to grow anything, okay? But now, be uh, promoted as a Shadow Nose Master, but I now feel like I'm blessed that I was able to stay then. Because uh, January 2023, I was maintaining, barely maintaining my semi sage Master, okay? Uh, Mom Ann was discussing that, okay? So I had my title, okay, as Sage Master, Diamond Master, but I was ma barely maintaining Semi Sage Master, and my income was 40,000 pesos a month. But do you know how much is my rent? I I'll not tell you how much, okay? But it's quite expensive, okay? Do you know how much I, e I eat? That cost me a lot, okay? So renting and food and all this, right, okay, will cost me, and that I spend more than 40,000 pesos. So how can I stay, right? But I really had to tell myself. And that time, I also had my consultation with Sir Eric, okay? <laughs> Sir Eric, it's really difficult for me to stay, okay? Can you give me some advice? And then Sir Eric also told me, Sir Sen, do or die, okay? You do it, and you will not leave any regrets, okay? And if you cannot make it, go back to Korea or get another job. Okay, I, I can offer you a job or any other workplaces, but I don't want you to have your Yeah, so when we have the 300 attendees next time, we have to change the <laughs> venue. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, so I really take it seriously, and I really am thankful to have Sir Eric, okay, here with us, because, like, I get this advice, okay? So, no matter what happened with you in Adam Business, we don't know, you can make it or you may not make it, but I don't want you to leave any regrets here, okay? So, you stayed here enough in the Philippines, okay, you're doing Adam Business over how many years, and I don't want you to, like, think, oh, I should have been done this, okay? So, I really had to do my best for one year, and uh, the time, uh, December, uh, I got this pin, okay? Other masters has bigger pin, okay? Uh, thank you. Uh, this is auto sales master pin. This will be given to you if you maintain sales master or any other mastership for more than 12 times in the previous year. You'll be given this pin means that you're maintaining your mastership at least once a month, then you'll be given this pin. So I worked hard from January 2023 until December uh, 2023 for that one year, I was able to achieve like many mastership, right? Okay, so I was given this pin, okay? Yeah, I forgot to put that picture that uh, Sir Eric had the pinning, okay, of this. So I hope you will also have this. If you have this, uh, you're now telling uh, like people, showing people, okay, that you have like some kind of like stable income, okay? I cannot say enough amount of income because everyone has different standards, but it means that you're earning stably, okay? Like stable incomes, okay? That's the proof of this. And like our other guests who's coming here to the Philippines, okay, from like Korea and other countries, if you will notice, they have bigger size of pin and their color of the stone is different. Okay, this is white color, right? They have red, this green, okay? And it means they're earning bigger amount of commissions. Okay, so here, okay? So December 2023, I was able to get this pin, Auto Sales Master. So it means I really worked hard for one year, right? Okay. And I go back to this eight steps to success, okay? That I admit that I missed the first two parts, okay? Dream and goal setting and determination and commitment. I missed that out, but I really worked hard, okay? From number three until number eight. But as I told you in the beginning, if you want to
do the number eight duplication, you yourself has to be a good role model, right? Good tree to bear the good fruits. But I myself is a sponsor or leader who missed that the two parts, okay? So I cannot really train or educate my partners to dream themselves, okay? I cannot really ask them because I myself has no dream, okay? So how can I ask someone else to dream for a, like bigger plans? Do you have your dreams? Can you share them? You have a big dreams? Okay, so yeah, you're better than me. At least you're prepared, okay, to do this business. But with me, when I was invited to the Philippines to do this business, I was not prepared. I thought it's okay with me just being the interpreter, okay? So now, okay, but there was a time. Uh, could you please show the PowerPoint? Yeah. So I did, as I show you the picture, Number three, my partners, okay? Their prospects were my prospects. So I had to go out and I invited them and I had meeting with them. I went back to follow up, okay? And whenever they have issues, complaints, I do my consultations and I duplicate, okay, myself to them. But I realized that with that, I could only maintain sales master, but I cannot really go up and grow bigger, attain bigger mastership or higher mastership. So I really had to go back to the number one and two, okay? And that happened last December. Next slide. Uh. Okay, what happened on December? Yeah, uh, there was this challenge was asked to me. Uh, I have my sponsor who's always telling everyone, even in front of our chairman, he'll become royal master within a year. But he's uh, still Sharonos master, but telling everyone that he'll become royal master, okay? So first time, honestly, I was laughing at him. How can he be royal master? He's still Sharonos master. But like when I listened to it again and again, okay, I felt that I somewhat, I'm kind of convinced, okay? And he was planning for his star master challenge. So I was telling myself, when his, my sponsor is running for Star Master, I have to be his one Sharon Nose Master. I was thinking about that, okay? But last December, it happened that he was not able to make it to Star Master. But the thing, I had my realization, okay, so he's adjusting his challenge. It doesn't mean that I have to adjust my challenge, right? So he cannot make it to Star Master, but it doesn't mean I don't have to make it to the Sharon Nose Master. I could still run, right? So that's the time I really had this dream uh, and goal, goal settings, and I had this determination and uh, commitments, okay, to myself, okay? So I made this challenge. Uh, for you to become, uh, this was discussed by Mam An earlier, Sharonos Master, we have challenge period every m 1 to 15 of the month and 16 till the last day of the month, and my challenge was December 16 to 31, okay? Second half of December was my challenge, and I need to have my two partners on the left, Diamond Master Achievers, and another two partners on my right who achieve Diamond Master. Then I'll be promoted to Sharon Rose Master, and this was the actual picture of the challenge. Mom and discussed this, okay? So if you see the picture, it looks kind of complicated for new members. For you to become Sharon Rose Master, you need four Diamond Masters. One, two, three, four. And for you to become Diamond Master, you need four Sage Masters, okay? And we could challenge sa Sage Master with having Semi Sage Master with us together. So uh, in 15 days income, okay, Mom and discussed this amount also. If I become Sharon Nose Master, I'll have income of 250,000 pesos in 15 days. And I'll have four Diamond Masters who will have their income of 100,000 pesos, okay, in 15 days. That's good income, right? And I have 12 sales masters who will be having income of 40,000 pesos. And if possible, I could go with 18 semi sales masters and their income will be 20,000 pesos and there are many more partners who will be receiving general commissions, okay? So this was my challenge, but I will tell you one thing. During my Sharon Nose Master Challenge, you know I made it, right? That's why I'm standing here. But uh, during my challenge, I didn't sell even one product, okay? So I realized 
challenging sales master, you have to sell a lot. You really have to do the sales talk, right? But challenging for Shadow Nose Master, it was not about selling anymore, okay? But my challenge was, I have this argue with Diamond Master challengers, Sales Master challengers, that Diamond Master was, <laughs> okay? I have this kind of, like, it's like push and pull, okay? This kind of uh, arguments, okay? So that was the real challenge that I faced, okay? And uh, not all 18 semi-Sales Master made it, okay? And there was one Diamond Master Challenger stopped uh, after eight days. So I have to look for some other options, okay? But I still made it. And can you, do you notice what's the yellow thingy there? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> macaroni. Do you know macaroni? Do you like macaroni? I'm a macaroni lover before this challenge but I don't need macaroni after the challenge. I'll tell you the story. There was this partner, okay? They said during Christmas season, they cook macaroni, okay, they said. So I had meeting with this diamond master. Mom, I'm running for Sharon Nose Master. I, I want you to be my diamond master, okay? Yes, okay? And this diamond master invited a person who will challenge for sales master. I had meeting with this person, mom, now, your sales master, diamond master, shadow nose master, okay, okay. And this person invited a semi sales master challenger, mom, you'll be having this income and this kind of bonus, okay, okay. So we're all good. And this semi sales master, after that meeting, went home and talked to her prospects, and the prospect told her, who promised to buy some products, told her, oh, mom, I'm sorry, I cannot buy the product that I promised because I need to buy macaroni for Christmas. So that person, who promised to buy that product from the semi sage master challenger told the semi sage master that she'll buy macaroni. And this semi sage master told her sage master sponsor, no mom, I cannot challenge semi sage master because my member will buy macaroni, okay? And this sage master told the diamond master, mom, I cannot challenge for sage master because my member's member will buy macaroni. And that diamond master, what do you think? came to me <laughs> and she told me, sir, my members, members, member <laughs> will buy macaroni so I cannot become diamond master. After this challenge, I don't eat macaroni, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I really had to put that macaroni over there, okay? And I call her macaroni, <laughs> okay? And we are all laughing now. But can you imagine during the challenge if that happens, okay? So yeah, I made the challenge during Christmas season, so they really, and she bought macaroni, and she didn't join the challenge, okay? So that's what happened. But I still was able to make it, okay? Uh, so <laughs> that was uh, December, yeah, 16 to 31, okay? After convincing how many times, how many partners, okay, I was able to make it to Sharon Nose Master, and I was promoted during uh, our last February uh, Success Academy in Manila. Oops. Okay, so this was discussed also during compensation plan. If you become Sharon Nose Master, then we have this incentive. You will be getting 80,000 pesos cash Okay, and two travel tickets, okay? So I got them. And I had two options, okay? Because I'm a member of Army Korea, working here in the Philippines, okay? So I could join the promotion, Sharon Nose Master promotion tour of Army Philippines, but I will go to Jeju Island. But I'm Korean, right? Will you be very happy if you're invited to Palawan for your, <laughs> for your promotion tour? You're Oh, you'll be happy? Oh. What about 100 Islands or somewhere you know? You've been there how many times, okay? So I'm a member of Army Korea. So no, no, I don't like to go to Jeju Island, okay? So I'll join the Korean uh, HQ's tour, right? And it was Vietnam. Until last year, it was Vietnam, okay? But HQ Korea changed the tour to Cebu, okay? So for me, I'm staying here in, in the Philippines and I've been to Cebu many times. So I have to choose over these two. One, in Jeju Island. Do you like to come to Jeju Island? Yeah, because you're Filipinos, right? But what about me? I'm Korean, I've been to Jeju Island for how many times? So I don't want to celebrate my promotion tour in Jeju Island, okay? So I now have to choose 
So what do you think I chose? You, you, do you think you can enjoy in Cebu? You're, when you're staying here in the Philippines, okay. But for me, I also chose Cebu, okay. Why? Because I could invite my mom, okay, to come and join me because we're given two tickets. One ticket is for me, one ticket is for my mom, okay. And as I told you that I was grew up in Saipan, 15 years, two years in the military, eight years here. So I really didn't have any time, okay, to uh, have this uh, son's duty or what or family trouble. I always miss them. So I used this chance to invite my mom. <laughs> and uh, that's Sir Leo Kibranza, okay, uh, our partner in Cebu, okay. He came to patch me in the airport, okay. That's one good thing. Joining Atomy, you'll have many friends, okay? Wherever you go, you have your friends, okay? So I was so happy when my uncle, Sir Leo, came to patch me in the airport, and that's the view of the hotel, okay? Cebu, when I've been to Cebu last time, okay, I was staying in No Star Hotel. I think there's no star of that hotel, okay? But staying in the five star hotel, the view was great, okay? And the room was prepared, and I didn't take a picture. On TV, it says, oh, welcome Mr. San Kim, like that, it says my name, oh, it feels good, okay? So, and they have that, uh, the name of the hotel was Dusitani, okay? That's five-star hotel, and they have this army, uh, yeah, the picture points done. And my mom flew from Korea, and we met in Saipan, uh, we, we met in Cebu, okay? Uh, but one thing, I flew from Baguio going to Cebu, okay? I uh, route uh, the airplane, okay, from Loakan Airport in Baguio. But I heard the news there'll be no flight anymore starting July 1, okay? There's no flight going to Cebu anymore, and Loakan Airport will be closed, okay? They're not op uh, having any flights, okay? So I was lucky to have that flight, okay, from Baguio to Cebu, and that's my mom, and it's her first time after 50 years she played the uh, table tennis, okay, ping pong, okay, and she didn't know how to swim. I also don't know how to swim, but we enjoy playing in the water. <laughs> so she asked me to go out again for swimming in the evening, okay, so, uh, you know, like, do you think I'll enjoy swimming with my mom in the nighttime? I don't really <laughs> enjoy it, Eva. but, uh, okay, okay, let's go, let's go, okay, I really have to say yes to everything during her stay. And they have this tour, uh, like this dinner, okay, uh, the two pictures down, they have the whole lechon baka, okay, I love lechon baka, lechon baboy, and the whole tuna, and they have this good meal, and that was the first time uh, that we have this family seminar, okay, and many of the families, around 60 families in, in one batch, and they have fi five batches, okay, so how many Sharon Nose Master is that, right? But I was the only one who's doing Atomy business here in, Cebu, uh, in the Philippines, okay? And many of them, they invite their children. The mothers are the one who's doing Atomy business and they're the Sharonus master. They bring their daughter along, okay? So many of them were thinking, my mom is Sharonus master and I'm her kasama, okay? <laughs> but it's baliktad, right, in my case, okay? I was the Sharonus master and my mom is my company, okay? So. She learned about Atomy. She's a user of Atomy product, okay? But she was like really inspired, okay? And having this, enjoying this good trip, okay? Uh, that was paid by the company. And that was Cebu SM, okay? And after that, we flew to Baguio, okay? That's uh, Loakan Airport, okay, in Baguio, okay? It was really scary, okay? Did you try All right, landing in Baguio? The runway is really short, okay? So, like when we take off, okay, to Cebu, on the way to Cebu, the airplane is not fast enough yet to take over, but the runway ended already, so <laughs> it really has to fly, okay? And what happened if it's landed and the speed is not slow enough, right? Then it will crash, okay? So I was really scared, but we arrived safely, and this is Baguio, and we went to Stone Kingdom, okay? That's one of the tourist spots in Baguio. And she really loved Baguio, the cool, cool weather, cooler weather. And I had dinner. You see Sir Ted there? Okay, Sir Ted is sitting down here, okay? I have dinner with my sponsors, okay, and my brothers, okay, in Baguio. 
and I'm not a golf player, okay, but it was nice to take picture, right? So <laughs> I brought her to the golf course to take picture, okay? And I had my uh, dinner with my partners, Sayang, my partners uh, here in Tabuk, okay? Uh, Kalinga were not able to join us. Okay, we had our dinner with my partners, and I drove her to Clark, okay? That's how uh, I ended the travel, okay? It was supported by the company, and it was really nice, right? So when I was still a sage master, diamond master, I was inviting mom to come here because I stayed here more than seven, eight years, okay? But my mom told me, don't invite me yet, okay? You don't have your car, you don't have your house, okay? You don't have enough money to like book me a hotel or anything, don't try to invite me yet, okay? That's my mom. But when it was supported by the company, she was so happy to join, okay? And she said, oh, Anak, I will send you money so you treat members, okay? You, you buy this, you, let's check in here. And after she went back to Korea, she's not sending the money that she promised, okay? But which is okay, right? Okay, I don't have to ask her. Uh, I'd like to ask you, what kind of life you're drawing Okay, in your imagination, okay? Is your house look like that? Is there anyone? Could you please invite me? <laughs> no one o owns that kind of house? Okay, what about having that kind of healthy food? Me, I'm staying alone, okay, and I don't have kitchen in my place, so I always order from Food Panda, okay? That's why it's getting bigger and bigger, okay? But oh, what about having the fine dining, right? Okay, good food, okay, salads, and that, that'll be great, right? What about having some travel, okay, regular trips with your family, okay, going abroad, like once a year, how nice, right? Okay, having that laughter together and having your own dress room, okay, that you have full of suits, okay? That'll be nice. And having your own Mercedes, okay, it'll be great. So for us to have this, how much do you want to make in a month? How much do you need for you to have that kind of life? Can you just think about that? Few seconds. Do you have some amount pop up in your mind? Okay, but after you think about that amount, the next question, how? That follows, right? Okay, so but I want you to forget about that how, okay, because that thing is important here is having that excitement, okay? When you see this picture, these houses, okay, and this car, this laughter of the family, and you need certain amount of money for you to have that kind of life, and I want you to feel that excitement only, okay? Don't think about how. What's important here is you keeping that excitement in you because in other businesses, other workplaces, they don't provide how, but here in Atomy, these eight steps to success talk about how. Okay, if you follow the eight steps, then you will make it, okay? You will be having that amount that you need for you to have this kind of life, okay? Do you believe that? Do you want to have that kind of life or you're satisfied already? Who's satisfied? Satisfied already? Wow, sana or. <laughs> Who else? Who's satisfied? Not many of us are satisfied, right? Okay, so I want you to dream yourself. Don't miss out the first two steps like me, okay? I missed that, okay? I missed that dream building, goal setting, commitment, and determination. So I really had to go back and do it again, okay? I don't want you to miss that. Uh, we have some newcomers, first timers here. I want you to th think about your dreams first, okay? Before anything else, okay? While trying the product of Atomy, oh, this is good. Okay, while trying, I want you to talk, think about your goals in life, okay? The dreams, dream, uh, dream life that you want to have. So, you'll be needing some amount of money, okay? Let's not think about how, because we have how here in Atomy, okay? But just keep that excitement in you, okay? That will allow you and make you to have that amount of income that you need for your happy life. And also with me, uh, like there was a one workshop, okay? It was a Sharon Rose Master workshop, okay, in Subic. And I was also invited, but I was a Diamond Master then. Okay, and I was invited as an interpreter again, okay, but like I was so happy that Sir Eric always like to, Sam, you come, okay, you join, <laughs> it's okay, you interpret, okay, so you can be part of the program. But uh, honestly, I, having many members, I let my members write their life scenario, but after I see them uh, like writing, I don't write mine, okay, I just let them write, and I see if they wrote it, okay, but 
There was a t Sir Eric asked me, Sir Sen, I want you to write your life scenario and stand and speak in front of everyone. Okay? So I have nothing. Oh, what will I write? And then I said, I want to have a car and I want to invite my mom to the Philippines. And it really happened. I bought a car and I was able to accommodate my mom during the trip. Okay? And I was so happy. Okay? Can you give me some clap for that? I don't know, maybe having a car, inviting your parents to the place where you stay can be a small dream, okay? But what's important here, I wrote it in my life scenario and it really happened, okay? So I want you to write down your dreams, okay? And work for it, okay? And make it happen. So this is from Henry Ford. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Can you read it together? Uh, the story behind of that quote is there was a two engineer, okay, and Henry Ford wanted to make this V8 engine, okay, and he called for this two engineer, and we need to come up with this kind of engine. Do you think uh, engineer A? Do you think you can make it? And the engineer A said, Oh no, that's impossible. In this current technology, we cannot come up with the kind of engine. And engineer B said, We could possibly work on that. And Henry Ford answered to these two engineers, You are both right. Okay, because the first person says that is impossible with current technology. So that engineer A will never come up with that kind of engine, right? Because he believes he cannot. But this engineer B is still willing to work out with the possibility. That's more possibility. Like when we're in tunnels, okay, there's a small light, okay, that's an exit. You're, if you're walking that way, the size of the light is getting bigger, the size of the exit is getting bigger, and that's the way out. Okay, so just like that, whether you think you can or you cannot, you're right. Okay, so do you believe you can or you cannot? Again? Okay, you can. If you believe, then you're right, you can. That's the lawyer's one, okay? And uh, ugly duckling, okay, being the lawyer's one, okay? That's the dream achieving, uh, like, experience here we can enjoy here in Atomy. And I like that, that last uh, quote, okay? Fake it until you make it, okay? Uh, I talked about this during my promotion speech that everyone here, even me, okay, we're lying. How many times a day? Every seven minutes we're lying. Do you lie every seven minutes? Yes, no? If you say no, you're lying, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're, we're liars, okay? But if there are some people who's using this, okay, that's like this, uh, our uh, psychological thing, all right? Let's use it wisely. You fake it to yourself until you make it. Means that you think about your dream, the goals that you want to have, and then put that to your real life. You fake it, fake yourself until you make it to that kind of life. <coughs> okay, this is the slogan of Atomy for this year. Be excellence or be extreme, okay? Can you read it together? <laughs> this is my last slide, okay? So can you read it louder again, one more time? Uh, I myself was thinking I'm a diligent person. I'm not lazy, okay? And I have my plans. I have my daily routines, okay? So I see myself, I'm excellent, okay? I go to work on time. I'm the first one to come to the office, last one to go home, okay? But I was not extreme enough, okay? But when I learn about Mom Julian Ballet coming here and do the Go Mid 100, oh, that's extreme, okay? That's really extreme, right? Okay? And I myself was thinking, oh, we have Sir Eric and HQ team is coming to Tukigarao for this seminar, and I don't have enough number of invites. Oh, what will I tell them? If I worry about it, while I'm thinking about and worrying about it, I'd rather go out and go meet 100, right? That's extreme, okay? Then we could have more number of invites, okay, instead of worrying about it. So here, uh, it says there, be excellent or be extreme, but it's not or, okay? I think we really need to go with both, okay? Like take Atomy business, just like other workplaces. You go to work at eight or nine in the morning, you work, have work until four to 5 p.m., right? Okay, invest that amount of time here in Atomy. But when you go to the malls, okay? When you see these uh, sellers on the street, what do they do? They sit down in the store or they checking Facebook, right? Is that extreme? 
No, they're being in the workplace on time, so they can call, call themselves, they're excellent, okay? They're being there on time, and they go home at five after they get up from the work. But keeping time is not enough, okay? We need to be extreme, okay? So I hope this slogan gave you some kind of realization, and as I share my A step to success, I hope you practice that one by one, not missing out on any step from one to eight, and I hope everyone to enjoy your dream life, okay? So thank you for your time, and thanks for coming, and that's all for my lecture. Thank you.